you doing, girl? Oh, much, much better. <laughs> and what was it like for you when you first heard about the earthquake and you knew where it was? Horrible. It was devastating. And I was watching it unfold and with my husband being away in Africa, working overseas, it was, it was really... Oh, what does your husband do overseas? He works for a mining company in Africa. So he's coming home tonight. Uh, what fears did you have and how do you feel now that she's coming home? Well, we just thought that something would be out of her control. It might, you know, get her, fire, whatever. We knew she was safe for the initial stuff, but the chaos aftermath was chaos, right? So we just, you know, and then getting her out too. I mean, travel and aftershocks and getting Tokyo into a hotel and who says there's not going to be another quake to get there and then bloody air travel. And... <sighs> Glad it's done. Glad it's done. <laughs> Yeah, she's wearing chases. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! So he flew from the Navy base to, to the Tokyo airport, got to Tokyo airport, and then flew back to his ship. He's, is he back now? Yeah, he's on his way to the ship. Okay, good. But, um, at the time, it didn't seem as big as it did. It wasn't until about the day after that we found out that how big it was. My friend didn't know until two, day, until two days ago how big it was. He was stuck in his home with no electricity, no, no form of communication anyways. We thought that there was a tsunami coming at one point, and we got on the roof of the school. And so we're sitting on the roof of the school, and then we heard that there's apparently a nuclear reactor at below, and so we didn't know what was going on. We didn't know if there's radiation. We didn't know where the reactor was. So it's just uh, lack, having the lack of knowledge and not knowing what's going on or where it's happening was just scary. To, it's just, there was no really lowest low. I just, we were just, we were just kept our head up and tried to get up. That's Port Tuckerville, uh, just outside of Tuckerville. It feels here. fantastic. It feels fantastic. Just can't wait to see my dad. Can't wait to see everybody else and give everybody a hug.